these are tight. Yep. These are probably not very tight, but that nut's got to be done up there, and there's another nut there, and there's one there. Right. Okay, now that... <coughs> those are the bearings, right? Yeah, well, that's, that's basically your, um, your engine mounts. Mounts, engine yeah. mounts, yeah. yeah. You can't service the cell drive without taking the boat out of the water. Basically, you can't do... You can't drop the oil out of it. You can't take the zinc out of it. You probably could. You'd have to be pretty quick doing the zinc. That's the zinc block for your sail drive. So is that one. But if you're going to do them, you're best to do them all in one hit. So you replace that one, replace that one in there, and it depends on what property you're having. It's a three-bladed folding gory. Gory, okay. I'll show you how they work when we go in there. You have to take those four bolts there out, and you have to remove the propeller to change that zinc. Right. Okay, that gives you also an opportunity to just check your water supply out there. Yep. Give it a, uh, a check. Um, and this, this engine like, mounts, make sure these are kept tight. This is this. That's a zinc. A zinc yeah. tube of some sort, isn't it? Yeah, it's just as the water goes, flows around and cools that. Yep. Um, That's so where you when, the, when this, I won't remove the sticker, but the so you've got two oil places. One is for the sail drive, right? Yes, it's here. Yeah. And the other one is what some of the engine, is that right? Yeah. The oil. Yeah. 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 Put your finger there again. It's okay. just under there. There's a drain to get the oil out of the sail drive. Yep. And there's a different oil for sail drive from the motor? Yep. Yep. And there's a third, a third zinc is probably on the propeller itself, which we can't see. Yeah, yet. I'll show you that. GL4, 90 weight, um, gear oil, capacity 2.2 litres. And how often does that need to change? Um, you do the first, I'll give you, I'll give you a schedule of, of boot there. Yep. That is a warning device. If that rubber boot leaks, that earths the little sensor there out and it will sound a warning on your dashboard. So if the warning goes off, it's a sign there's water the wrong side of that seal. Wrong side of that seal, so that means that you've yeah. got to um, take some action. Okay. It'll give you the oil level. Yeah. Um, you generally check it when it's cold. That gives you the most accurate level reading. Um, now this also serves as your, your pump, your drain point. Right. If um, I want to get oil over the whole system, yeah. like that. So there's no drain underneath. No. So well, yeah. I mean, if you wanted to, you could undo that. But basically, what you're going to eat? That's the oil filter there. Yeah, basically. Yep. Um, that's a coolant drain on the side of the block. Let's just undo that, and that drains the water out of the, the engine block if you're in somewhere that's like freezing conditions. You probably only need to drain the coolant out if we're in the Antarctic Peninsula. Right, if the engine block freezes and the water's got nowhere to go, so it'll just rather They're all in here. One of the two. But you got the intake? You got oh, that's the intake there. Yeah. yeah, that's the... Uh, and this is engine oil, it is engine not oil. sail drive oil. No, so that's the division between the sail drive Yep. On the left and the engine on the right. Yep. Air filter, another serviceable point. Just pull that off. Just got a basically uh, a filter that's washable. Uh, if it does get dirty, or something? Uh, I'd probably just wash it in a, a soapy detergent water and just let it dry. But I'd say that because the nature of vessels, yep. you don't get too much dirt and oil and grease and Right. gunge around so they stay relatively clean. It's probably more of a sil air silencer than anything else. Yep. Um, so that's your air? That's your air intake for the engine. Okay. Okay. Goes so up and down. Yeah, it goes in there. That's the flow. Goes through the, the engine, comes yeah. out of the exhaust. Yeah. Solenoid, is it? Yeah. yeah, electric solenoid, that just basically goes in and out like that when you want to stop it. Or if you could push with your finger, right? Yeah. 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 Now, if that's in there and it won't, it's, uh, yeah, if it stays in there, your engine won't start, so, yep. yeah. Now, you've got your speed control here, which is that one there. Yep. These ones there are preset. That's your idle speed one. Yep. Should you need to up your idle speed? I don't think you will, but should you need to do that, that's the one you adjust. That's your maximum fuel. Do not touch that. That's seal unit. Yep, that's your maximum fuel... And speed. Okay, okay, so basically that one is sealed so that you can't play with it. Yep. And you don't need to play with it. 
Yep. That, that one there, you may need to up your idle speed at some point in time. Yep. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think you will. It's generally set at the factory, yep. and that's where your cable goes. So that's that's the idle position. That's full throttle. Yep. Okay. So basically, you've got to adjust your cable so that you get full throttle, and you still get yeah, back comes to through, the, through here, right? Through here. Yep. Yep. So you've got to get um, idle speed. Yep. And you've got to get full throttle. So full throttle is the one there, and if your cable's a little bit long, it's got provision to spring back there so that. Yep. It can, um, it can get a bit more, but you won't get any further on there. Yeah, talking about the fuel system. Yeah, fuel system. Right. Mm -hmm. Now that's that's where the fuel comes in. Okay, comes in there, gets pumped into here into that fuel filter, goes through that fuel filter out into here. Okay, yep. and then it gets goes. That's the injectors, right? That's the injection pump. Yep. It gets. Um, there's a little valve in there which maintains pressure yeah. in that, so that there's always a head of fuel. Yeah. It's like putting a drum of fuel up here, basically, that's what you're doing there. It's like if you had a drum of fuel up there, you'd have that head of fuel flowing all the time. So basically yeah. that valve maintains pressure in there. comes back out of here as a return. Yeah. Same as that, whatever is not used by the engine gets returned back out of that line, and that goes back to your tank. Okay. Yeah, that's you. the hand primer for the fuel tank. Yep, yeah. yeah, that's your hand. So if you if you want to um, change this filter, you yep. have, that's you have to bleed the system. You have to bleed through the little diaphragm, which is sucking it in. There's a valve each side of the intake and thing, so that it's a one-way valve in and a one-way valve out. So it can't go back through. Right. So that fuel pump is driven by the camshaft. Yep. yep. Comes in there, sucks it in there, pumps it up through there, out through there, or through. The internal of the filter. And yep. this is the filter? Yep. Yep. That's the, that's the secondary filter. The secondary filter, because we've got another filter in the fuel line, haven't we? That's right. Side. You should have. Yeah. Okay. okay. Comes out of there, into here, and uh, is metered. Out of the, the filter, into the injector pump, is that right? Yeah, injector pump, and basically what happens with that is they have, um, I'll show you these. Okay, now, you have to, in order to understand this system you have to have a look at this and this is called the helix okay yep. now that part turns okay we'll fit that in, in there like that now that there's a little hole in there right and as that hole opens and closes you'll see the helix cuts the fuel off and on yep. that's what this does that turns that piece there okay so that little that just hold your hands, yeah, got it. Yeah. That little tiny hole gets opened and closed, allowing more fuel to go in. Yeah. Or less fuel. Okay. So if you want full throttle, you've got full fuel. Fuel. If you've got less throttle, you've got it cut off half. This says I want full throttle, and it comes turns around there, opens that helix so that you get more fuel. Got it. And then the camshaft comes along every two revolutions, and goes bang. Pumps the thing into there, into the injector, and the injector has a spring. Right. Okay. Controls the. Let me say it. The speed lever controls the rotation of the helix. Yep. And the camshaft drives drives the pump. Pumps going up and down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically. So that probably only goes as far as there. It's not much. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's always the same. It's that which control. You, know, you can't control the. The pump effect, the pump always pumps the same yeah. uh, potential volume. Yes. It's just the pressure in this will change because of the opening and closing. So the volume in that will actually change because of the, the hole size in there. Right. Okay. And what can go wrong with that? Um, if you get water in that, because it's a very sensitive part, yeah. it's very, very finely tuned, basically what happens, uh, it'll leak past there. Instead of going out through there, It'll actually, when it's on the pump cycle, if it's if it's knackered, uh, instead of going up through there, because it's got to bypass a spring. Yeah. Okay, there's two, th nearly 3,000 psi coming out of there. Right. Inside. Okay. So what it'll do, it'll just bypass down there and come back out and return. So.